Okay, Martha, we're on the very last leg here. All right. Now this time, unfortunately, uh, the runway wasn't visible. The fog moved in. The visibility went down below a half right. a mile. We had to miss the approach at Oakland. Darn. Okay. So our risk management said we were going to do what? What was our well, next uh, procedure? Well, I had filed an alternate of Livermore Airport, which is to the east and, and somewhat south of Oakland. And um, <clears throat> if I ended up doing a missed approach, as we talked about, the published procedure has me flying straight ahead to 1,900 feet and then turning north to go to a, an intersection off of the Skaggs Island vortex. The next thing that's going to happen is ATC uh, Tower's going to send me back to approach control, and approach control's going to say, say your intentions. Okay. And so I'd better have some intentions. Intentions in mind. Okay. Let's say this time Tower sends you back to uh, departure and departure gives you a heading of fly northeast maybe 060070 and I see some colors on there I'll let you describe right. in just a moment but gives you a heading of northeast tells you to maintain 1,000 feet gets busy with an emergency and some other aircraft and forgets about you. I have a problem in that case. And basically some approaches on government charts show terrain and others don't. Uh, JEP charts do show the terrain if they think it's an issue. Um, but in any event, I've got the minimum safe altitude circle with my altitudes that I looked at when I briefed the approach. And I should be thinking about that whenever I get an altitude uh, from ATC and thinking about, is that gonna clear the terrain? And if it's not, I need to stay alert to his getting back to me before very long. So if departure turns me east or northeast and um, gets preoccupied uh, and I don't do anything about it, um, what's going to happen is I'm going to end up as a, a CFIT accident, a controlled flight into terrain, uh, because I would just, uh, if I didn't do anything, I would just plow on, at that altitude and heading into the hills out to the east of Oakland. So what that means is I have to be very proactive. If I'm turned by air traffic control and pointed at a high terrain, I need to to have as risk management I need to have in my mind how long am I willing to fly on this heading at this altitude um, before I start making a nuisance of myself and how l much longer will I go if any before I just climb anyway because um, it's easier to miss airplanes in the clouds than it is mountains in the clouds. 